this book, the main character, Shy, takes a summer job on a cruise liner. On his first trip on the cruise liner, an incident occurs, and he's seriously traumatized by it because he was right there when all of it happened. And several voyages later, he's still traumatized by it, waking up in the middle of the night, always constantly rem remembering it, and it just messes with his head for a really long time. And then on that voyage that he's on, the big one hits California, and it's basically a gigantic earthquake, and that affects the ocean that he's on. No one knows that his ship is out there. They're basically stranded, and now he has to survive on the ocean with someone he never thought he would be with. Not to mention that on land, there's a thing called Romero disease, which basically kills you in a couple of days, and the victims, uh, one of the si symptoms of Romero disease, your eyes turn blood red, and they're dead within days. But they're working on a cure. But there may be more to the disease than meets the, ironically, eye. <sighs> a passage from the book is... There have been four major quakes, the two most devastating centered just outside Palm Springs, and alarmed the Cascadia sub subduction zone off the coast of Washington State. The most powerful offshore quake had struck just west of Morro Bay, which I knew was in California. What he didn't know was how far out into the ocean offshore it was. This paragraph shows the after effects of the main earthquakes that hit California, and how he believes it could affect him. That is The Living by Matt De La Pena.